Hello everybody, welcome back to Page Place Doki Doki Literature Club. A fun and exciting game where nothing bad happens at all to anyone. Especially not these cute, poor, poor little girls. My child and my waifu. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're nearing the end, so uh, let's just hop right back in. Um, we were picking Natsuki words, and then Natsuki like broke her neck and decided to come at me, bro. So I think we're dropping all pretense, and I'm just gonna pick words that I like. Like destiny. And graveyard. Okay. <laughs> I like the little Monica at the bottom, I guess. And whatever the hell this- oh. Oh, I've made a bad choice. Oh, I like the, the numbers, too. 1,101. 101. 1,111 1, out of 20. Um... Anxiety. Well, that's just what I am feeling right now. What was that? <laughs> okay. Um. Raindrops and uncontrollable. Oh boy. Climax. Empty. Silly. Lipstick. Anything? I don't even know how many <laughs> fucking. Okay. I guess that was enough. Oh boy, here we go again. Hi, Paige. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. <laughs> Monica, I told you not to... hug. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. We're getting right back into it, I see. Excuse me? You must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling. <laughs> Listen, that's my child you're yelling at, and I don't appreciate it, Yuri. What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Oh, have you remembered the fight all of a sudden? <laughs> Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. Are you talking about those snapping your neck and attacking me? Because that was a little more hostile than was necessary. I guess I really felt threatened or something. Oh, she must be talking about the, um, the festival and how she said she didn't want new club members. I mean, sure, apologize for that, whatever. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time, you know, to replace the one that we never had, apparently. So... Natsuki. Nobody cares. Get fucked. Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machines or something? What a fucking weird and specific insult. Ah! Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, no, sweet baby, I'm sorry. It's the game. It's... Oh, oh man, I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination. Something else, which is very suspicious. But I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival too. Anyway, Paige, what do you want to do today? Get the fuck out of here. I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Paige is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? Don't... Okay, well, that smile is real sinister after what I know now. I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Now that's the nihilistic attitude I'm looking for, Monica. Yes! Whoa. And that's the intensity I'm looking for, Yuri. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Alright. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? I mean, fuck it, who cares at this point? Make whatever tea you want. Not at all. Thanks very much. 
If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Uh, sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. That, that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Alright, bye. Ah, uh, did Yuri leave you again? A again? Oh, you know what? She did leave me yesterday, didn't she? Uh, no, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. <laughs> okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Well, that was okay. Well, that sure was a good and enriching encounter that really just changed this whole gameplay up for me. Um, ten minutes pass. Wow, that is... That is a lot of time to fill up a pitcher of water. Yuri said it wouldn't take too long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to go out and look for her. Let's see. Oh, I like the muffled quality to the music, like it's playing in the classroom. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. Pfft, logic. I start heading down the hallway. Ha, 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 ha. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <laughs> a sharp inhale, like someone is sucking air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Yeah! Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, um... And we are rewinding, because that's just a normal thing that happens, and... I'm back! <laughs> Yuri, um, my darling, we have something very serious we need to talk about, and that is you are getting therapy right now, this very instant, okay? Also, like, how are there not just, like, deep blood stains all over your clothes from that shit? Thanks for waiting patiently. Paige, do you like oolong tea? Listen, tea doesn't matter right now. Can we talk about what I just saw? Uh, yeah? Anything is fine. Nope. We're, once again, pretending that shit did not happen. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? Uh-huh. Look, look. Look at how fucking pristine her sleeves are. Those would be soaked through. Unless, of course, she's had time to wrap them up or something. But, like... No, listen, we're, um, we're going to the nurse, and then we are going to the therapist's office. In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Uh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do, when it's you who's around anyway. Uh, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much, you know. You're always worrying about me, Paige. It's very endearing. That, that's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Paige, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh, why's that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall, rather than bending over at my desk. Uh, sorry, I didn't realize. Realize what? No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because of my... Uh... My... I made the big boobs joke last time, we're not doing it again. Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes! I have terrible reading posture, so that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it, since it'll go well with the tea. 
Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our side. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. All right, let's go, go, go. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Um, Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup? Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. Oblivious blonde. What a fool. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. Um, after a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want, but please don't take any at all because it's all mine. Fuck you. Uh, that's... that's okay. I won't take any. Yes! Eh? Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then I might get smudges on the pages. It's my book anyway. What do I care? Uh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. <laughs> this is a cute scene. Yuri opens the book with both hands. I can't wait to see how it gets fucked up. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then, I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if this situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri's lips close over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Paige... S sorry I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh... Okay, all right, and here we go. Let's get mm, let's get weird. Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I, I can't. Paige. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. Oh well, she's getting violent. My teacup gets knocked over. Not the tea, Paige. Um. Okay. And if I clap twice, does the lights turn back on? No. Okay. So whatever clap turned him off was fake. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Paige. Well, that's terrifying. I can't calm down. Oh, great, you're having a fucking heart attack. Are you serious? I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Paige? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Um, um, um. Um, um. Why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to me, Yuri? Why is it happening to me, the player? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Oh, honey, that was gone long ago. I can't make it stop. Please don't look at me like that. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Okay, all right, she is a serial killer. Okay, what is that? Ha ha ha. Well, they say that eyes are the windows to the soul, and I don't like what I'm seeing through this window. I'm actually scared. <laughs> Suddenly, I don't think Yuri's my favorite anymore. Okay, saved by the Monica. Um... It's time to share poems. And away we go from that bullshit. Um, I guess let's start from the top. Uh, this one's all right. All right? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's anyway. I still can't really tell how much you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing all right. Even though you're not really spending any time with anyone but Yuri. Listen, I'm not doing it on purpose, Natsuki. I'm sorry. I still think it's nice that, to have activities that we all participate in. So you better keep working hard. I mean, 
I know I'm not president or vice president or anything. Out of the three members, I am the only one without a title. So, but that doesn't mean you can't let me down, okay? But that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So, at least read mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? Oh boy. Oh no, oh no, okay. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. S f muck a mother fucking son of a- Therapists do exist, and we have not gone to see all of them yet. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, if you can do something to help, I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's being really dismissive about it. It's like she just wants us to ignore it, so I'm mad at her right now. And that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. I changed my mind. Oh, boy. Ignore everything you just read. It there's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Paige? Why do you guys keep asking if I can hear you? This is a text-based medium. There's nothing to hear. If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. I'm sensing a theme here. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Aw, thank you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. <laughs> Just Monica. Just Monica. Okay. What? Oh my god. Are you serious? <laughs> Just Monica. Who should I show my poem to next? Uh, probably Monica. But fuck Monica. I'm not gonna play your stupid game, game. Finally. Ahahaha. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I didn't want to say it, but, um, you're being kind of weird. I love it. I love everything about it. Paige, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Um, I have to show it to Monica still, but, um... Please? Oh, I can't say no to that face. Uh, sure, I don't care. <laughs> you're too nice to me, Paige. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Oh boy, I have a bad feeling about who's dying next all of a sudden. Not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? Why are you asking me? It's not bad, right? I don't know anything. Yuri holds my palm to her chest. I'm gonna take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll, I'll even touch, touch myself, myself while reading it over and over. Well, you're 18, so I suppose I can't be, like, calling the police about that statement, but I'm calling the police. I'll give myself the epithet so your skin oil enters through my bloodstream. I'm calling the SWAT. I'm calling the National Guard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling my mommy. You can have my poem, too. Great, I probably don't want it. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really gonna want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, here's all those blood stains I was talking about missing earlier, and I hope that's coffee. I really hope that's coffee. I like how the blood stains travel down the page. Oh boy. Alright. Okay. Oh, I'm too old for this. 
Really digging the background music. Nice and relaxing. Do you like it? I love it. Oh, it's just the best, Yuri. You're such a thoughtful person. I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about... <laughs> More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. Oh no, it is pee. Oh no. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Yeah, that's how I feel right now. I... I think I'm gonna vomit. Alright, bye. Who should I show my poem to next? What poem? Didn't Yuri take it? Paige, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. Yeah? Which thing? Which of many, many fucked up things have I seen now that you don't want me to see, Monica? I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. Oh, it's the wrist thing. Okay. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Maybe I'm just an exciting person. Have you thought of that? Which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Hmm. I'm taking notes for when we go to the therapist, so if you could just write down any crazy shit you've seen her doing and leave it to me, it'll be much appreciated. Isn't that kind of messed up? Well, to each their own. She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. Maybe she should just smoke weed instead. It might even be like a sexual thing. Listen, we're not here to yuck any yums. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. Okay, so we're just gonna make it all my fault. Thanks, Monica. I'm not saying it's your fault though, okay. Well, I misunderstood then. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. Hey, fuck off. Let me make my own bad decisions, Monica. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. Yeah, well, I don't have it together in the head, so somehow that was a comeback. It wasn't. Listen, I don't really appreciate you trying to enforce the negative stigma around mental illness, so... Anyway, I guess we won't worry about your poem. Yeah, <laughs> what poem? Yuri should have at least had the courtesy of letting you finish sharing it before taking it. You'd think. Well, whatever. If it makes her happy, I won't stop her. As for mine, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's, uh, effective. What does that mean? Here goes. <laughs> Jeez, that really startled me. Um, well, I guess I kind of messed up at, uh, writing this poem. Yeah, you think? Not a single word on it. At least Yuri managed some chicken scratch. I was just trying to, uh, never mind. Let's just move on. Yes, no. <laughs> what? To what? Yes, sure. Uh, no, nothing, nothing's real, question mark? Nothing's real, question mark. I love it. I love blackout poetry. It's some of my favorite. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Ugh. Ugh. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Yeah, I believe it. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. <laughs> oh, that's right. This is the playthrough where they don't just don't care anymore. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Fuck you. Do whatever you want, as long as you'll think it'll help. Wow, that was real dismissive. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. <laughs> I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion, so I'm going to make decorations and set up nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? 
What about Paige? Paige is going to help me. Ooh, not even giving me a choice this time. <laughs> Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. <laughs> Excellent. All you care about now is dragging Paige around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Oh, Natsuki, I'm sorry. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Paige decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Paige make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Paige, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Alright, well, I guess we're gonna... Ooh. <laughs> no, let me choose Yuri. You let me choose Yuri. I... D <laughs> Listen, I got Natsuki last time, and it's just going straight back to Monica. I'm not doing that. Alright. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? Um. Okay, well. Um. Monica, then. <laughs> Yay! You picked me! <laughs> I literally made myself the only option! We can meet at your house this weekend. Okay, I guess we're getting a Monica scene. If we make it that far. I promise, it'll be fun. Uh, is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. Is it? Is it what I chose? No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Paige for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. <laughs> I didn't even give you any work, you dumb bitch. You assigned it yourself. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> this is like a fight with your girlfriend and you just called her crazy and she goes, Oh, I'll show you crazy. That's what we're about to get right now. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Paige away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Yeah, there we go. Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's the suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Jesus Christ, everyone's gone batshit. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Okay. Yep, nope. Oh, no, 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 wait a second. Sh wait a second, are they leaving me alone with her right now? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Paige. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Yeah, she giggles. Finally. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay, well, um, I want you all to know that I, I am gonna die here. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Paige, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> well, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. That's the attitude. The attitude that's gonna get me killed. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. 
I'm addicted to you. Oh boy. It feels like I'm gonna die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone who cares about you so much? Listen, you can't, you can't pretend to look normal when you're saying shit like this. To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But it feels so good. Then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Paige. I have to tell you. I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Paige, just know how much I love you. I love you so much. I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. Um, on second thought, you can keep the pen. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Paige. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? As it turns out, I just needed somebody who is obsessed with me. If I say yes, she'll probably kill me. If I say no, she'll probably kill me. So there's no, there's really no losing this situation. Yes, I accept your confession. <laughs> what? No. No, no. No, sweetheart, no. Okay, well. Welp. We can mark another potential wife off the list. She's, uh, she's real dead, folks. She looks kind of happy. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um... Is she actually saying anything? Can I... How, how much is this is gonna... Oh, it just keeps going, huh? Okay. Well, I guess we're in it for the long haul. I definitely wanted to spend my afternoon just fucking staring at the dead body of my... Well, friend. Oh, what's it? Oh, is time, like, legit passing? <laughs> yeah, it's nighttime now. I'm just, uh, sitting at school. Not doing much of anything. She's just decaying on the ground beneath me. No big. I definitely don't want to call the cops or anything about this. Am I even going to get an end screen or am I just going to be stuck here forever? Oh no. <laughs> She's like withering away. And yet her boobs are still nice and perky. You know, we're at the point of the game where this isn't even like weird. It's just like, okay. I guess we're doing this now. What is it, Sunday? Alright, well, it's Sunday now, so, um... Oh, nope, I guess it's... Monday? Is it festival day? Alright, well, I guess I didn't do anything over the weekend. I just stared at her dead body on the ground for a while there. This is fun. This is great. <laughs> Alright, it's festival time! <laughs> wow, you got here before me? Yeah, I've been here all weekend. Um, I have to pee real bad. I thought I was pretty er- Yeah! Yeah, me too. I'm not doing that scream. It's midnight and my roommate is home. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Natsuki runs away. Like, I wish I could. Uh, I'm here. Paige, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. You could say that. Oh. 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 Uh, uh, uh. Well, that's a shame. Ain't it, though? Just a regular darn shame that my friend has been sitting on the ground decaying for the past couple of days. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Paige? Did she hear me complaining? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. Yeah, the game script? I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. Eh, I managed to entertain myself. I was probably on my phone the whole time texting. Playing Pokemon Go. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. How can you make it up to me? 
Oh. <laughs> Yuri character has been deleted. Natsuki character has been deleted. Almost done. What are you doing? I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get a chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Um... Ain't a fan of that. Uh, can you hear me again with the, the, the key? Alright, things have gotten a little weird. I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode here with my... Well, actually, I did not get a game over screen. I did get a character death, but we just kind of hopped into whatever the fuck this is. Um, Monica has deleted everybody else, so I guess it's just me and her now. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this video and like to see others like it. Make sure you follow me on all my social media to keep up with my social endeavors and to keep up with my mental breakdown that I'm currently having over this game. And make sure you check out my Patreon if you'd like to support me. Thanks for watching!